Okay, let's head to the reliquary. Where we meet a little minotaur. Why is Freddy with us again? <laughs> I opened that shipping container. Is it? Expecting did you really come know, with us? Rats. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Instead, we have. <sighs> Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? So I was told. That's how Pan described it. He said it was a um, what's the word? A reliquary? That is where relics are kept, like magic items, like when we played D and D. This is nothing like D and D. Well, I don't know about you, it's Grace, a little but if bit a dragon like came flying out of that mist, I would not be the least bit surprised. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? Uh, tell me about Hecate. Do you know anything about this Hecate? Would you like it's not a name that rings bells. Witchcraft or something. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft. Hey. The dark kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider. Lived alone, off in her little corner of the underworld. <gasps> Do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. Good idea. Good. Yeah. Hey, Hecate. I love your library. So much knowledge. Wow. <laughs> I bet you'll really appreciate a quality smart ass. I brought you you'll for never a reason, know. right? Oh. We'll make a fine team, you and I. <laughs> Such dorks. The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Should I? <laughs> That's the Minotaur's real name. You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant labyrinth. <sighs> Pan did not mention that. Why am I not surprised? Is the Minotaur dangerous? This Minotaur. You don't think he might be dangerous, do you? Well, traditionally he eats people, but oh, he was lovely. also supposed to have been slain by the hero Theseus. Well, right. not so slain after all. Pan says he has a problem with his love life. Hmm. Maybe he needs to stop eating all his girlfriends? Or eat them better. Okay, that's <laughs> the moment I said it. Okay, that's, that's enough of that. We should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. Eh, it's more of a mist, really. A mist potentially full of monsters. In we go, then. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pan? Uh, this is my specialty. Metal and love lives? Sweet talk, the goddess of witchcraft? Freddy, who are you dealing with? The master meddler and sweet talker. Damn straight. Ye I look forward to seeing know. you in operation. There's no way at all this could go poorly. Why is Freddy with us and we agree that she could come? So what if it's dangerous or something? Oh, she's a big one. What is that Bojack Horseman donkey at the back? Mortals within the reliquary! Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you! I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came! I am really sorry if we startled you. My name is Grace. We've never met before, but, uh, I'm the new muse. And I'm Freddy. <laughs> Big fan. If I broke a rule, I apologize. Pan didn't mention anything about that, I'm, I'm afraid. You are Grace? At last I checked, yes. Then Calliope is dead. Is that now? I thought that was not for another 11 months yet. 11 months? You knew? Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another 11 months and 3 days. Or I could just tell you now? That cannot be. It is written. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band, they become friends, 
Months later, there is an <gasps> automobile accident and... An accident? Well, that's not what happened. Are you saying the books are wrong? Seems like it. They're wrong about this. Calliope was murdered just a few days ago. That is impossible. I don't know what to tell you. You will explain. Did she fake her death? We will both sit and you will explain. Because she didn't want to be a uh, there will be tea. an idol anymore. She can't have faked her death. Curious. They give up the idol and they something die. Something unanticipated has occurred. Something outside the realm of fate. Uh, is that even possible? It is. But I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? I don't have years. That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. Um. Can I meet? <laughs> okay, wait. Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. Who are the Moirai? The, the Moi what? You might know them as the Fates. Oh. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Can I meet Asterion? Actually, I came here to speak to Asterion. If, uh, if he is here. A visitor for Asterion? How strange. <gasps> oh! Uh... Are we doing guests? Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. Wow, oh, okay. a precious boy. Right. <laughs> As if there was any doubt. My old friend, this is Grace. Look how chonky! She is our muse from the line of Calliope, and it is she who asked for you. <laughs> I'm here for your love life. Um, can we talk? Hi there. Can we talk? Somewhere in private? Talk? What, you and me? Uh... Why? What about? You know, about a delicate matter that maybe you needed help with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. No. Uh, uh, nah. I have no idea what you're talking about. No delegates here. There you have it, Grace. I believe now is the time when you leave. But <laughs> there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. Not this time. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. I'm not going. Did you hear that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterion won't even talk to us? Maybe there's another Asterion? Yeah, more, more likely Pan's Baldur's got me Gate. chasing my tail. <laughs> this was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? Uh, I'm taking some powers. Um, maybe we just sneak in for now. That's the fun maybe option. Maybe we could sneak in somewhere. Could there be a back door? And do what? You weren't thinking of... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, 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 you're still here. <laughs> I had to run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, isn't it? Oh, <sighs> you chonky boy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I just couldn't tell you. Not in front of Kate. Kate? Okay. Why not? Why oh my you... god, wait! Wait. <laughs> Are you saying what I think you're saying? Oh, this is so great. I love this. Me too! I heard what you said about Calliope. I can help you. I really, really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear sweet Kate. I, I, I just don't know how to tell oh. her. Please help me tell her. I will. Let me just ask all of the questions. Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I, I have to ask. Sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. Uh-huh. And... Well, she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh, I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. 
She said, it fits. Thank you, Asterion. <sighs> <laughs> this is so cute. Are you really the Minotaur? Like, the monster who roamed a maze and ate people? And is supposed to be dead? Uh, well, my father locked me up in a labyrinth, but I never ate anyone. Oh, well, that's good. Except Theseus. But he, he was a bellend. I'm sure. Yeah. Let me get this straight. You're in love with Hecate. That Hecate. Oh, mate, Kate is... She, she's just the best. Like, she knows everything, and she always smells so good. She knows everything. Like, she's so nice to me, and she doesn't even have to be. And we got stuck in the tower together because we can't live in the mortal world. I know I could make her happy. I, I want to try. Oh, won't you help me? Yes, I will help you. Oh, okay, Have more you tried, questions. Oh, I don't know. Talking to her about how you feel? <laughs> I take <laughs> that as a no. I don't have the words. I've tried. Every time I end up knocking over a table or killing a cat or talking about how sometimes meat has that grisly texture I don't like. You killed her cat? Oh, no. Oh, it was a small cat. I panicked. I'm just not good at words. Right? Really not good. Are you good in song? Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. You know, please, please say you'll help me. Oh. Um, what if Hecate it might doesn't say go no. in your favor? You know that, right? She probably will. I mean, she's Kate. And I'm me. But just once, I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, to say it out loud instead of thinking it. I'll still help you. No matter what she says. I promise. Okay. I don't know. Doesn't this feel a little weird? Which part? Helping him woo her with my powers. You heard what Pan said. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can only make them say what's, what's in, in their, their heart. heart. Yeah, that's the part I can't do. We're just helping him express his feelings. It doesn't mean Hecate will immediately, you know, fall for him. I do this, and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. But she never made me swear. Maybe she never thought mm -hmm. anyone would ask. Well, that's but I'll tell okay. you. Even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me, any trouble will be worth it. I got it. Okay. I have an idea. Y you do? <clears throat> well, y you do. You, my bullish friend, are gonna sing your little heart out. <laughs> Grace always has the best ideas. I'll set up a vibe and you go for it. Oh, okay. I'm not great at words. I'm, a, I'm more of a dancer. <laughs> Speak from the heart. Be honest. You can do it. At least you can sing and dance. That would be, that would be amazing. You cast a spell on me Not literally, obviously But I feel in summary You and me are meant to be It's kind of like spoken word Broadway-ish You didn't do it to me directly I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically just the metaphorically shit something about her beautifully <laughs> it's okay okay what are some of the things you love about her <laughs> she's just like what the fuck Hecate with you there's so much to love oh I'm not saying you're fat <laughs> Did not just Jesus, say that. that's not. Hold on. Uh, tell her something she doesn't know about herself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, T. To me, you know you. Enrapture? Oh, good word. Is your power.
pallid skin Your lips are so thin Your love of books Asterion, I have but one thought Why is it that you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're in love with me? You couldn't possibly Really? Oh, you're doing great Give it another go a spell on me It's a feeling that's killing me But let's say categorically Oh Katie It's uh, just you and me Let her reply Does she have to sing? I cannot hide From my reality I can't help but think it's best that you forget me. No, we I feel can't. So little joy, my want is to destroy. You will come to resent me. I'm truly fond of you, yet now it appears that you love me. How can you be so sure? What is my allure? Are near certain. I could never make you cry. No, you, 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 you are I gonna cry. That's what she's saying. What if I lose you? <gasps> oh, I feel so powerless. Let me be crystal clear. Do you believe this love of yours shall persevere? Despite all and won't face it, won't disappear. My virtues are few. If we see this through, the pain that we share may be too severe. Ready. Oh, of course she sings my song better than I do. Help me. Freddy, you gotta step in. Me? Yeah, you're just as qualified as I am. <laughs> Hecate, I'd say he's really put himself out there. No, he cannot undo. It's a brave thing to do. Wish I had his daring. Well, I'm saying that I've missed out before. Oh. Last chances rushed out that exit door. I could never let my heart be heard. And it's withering. Now I'm reconsidering. It was great, Freddy. I it's a bit sad and not a jab at Grace. You speak to me honestly. You're at my beck and call. I've never thanked you at all. And yet you still love me. I let travelers know which way to go, but it bothers me. My own path I forego always seemed apropos. Yet where has this led me? Maybe one step across the line. Will weave its own spell in given time. The thought with which I must contend is can I love my best friend? <gasps> yes! Just decide. Asterion. Hate? It seems you've cast a spell on me. You will not regret this. Not yet. It is written. Oh. You cast a spell on me to think I shall have my own story. You cast a spell on me and we shall write it together. You cast a spell on me. Tale of romance and glory. You cast a spell on me. But do we have enough leather? Huh? You cast a spell on me. Oh, I love people in love. Well. That was 
diverting. You felt this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. What is that I Bojack mean, Horseman me. donkey at the back Only, <laughs> doing? You know, half a man. You have been a devoted friend over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace, I thank you for arranging this diversion, however it came to pass. Wasn't it written? I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? <laughs> Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you knew that. I follow the rules. It is written. Huh? You know what, lady? Just... I'm happy. I'm glad to see someone <laughs> happy. Finally. That would be me. I am also not displeased by this course of events. <laughs> wow, look at you. Okay. Living the wildlife. Come, Asterion. I wish to speak of this further. And find an appropriate outfit. For what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> hey, wait for me outside, yeah? How long are we supposed to wait? It's been over an hour. I'm sure it's fine, Grace. I doubt the Minotaur would break his promise. <laughs> so, what I tell you? <laughs> go out. No, when you couldn't have like met him halfway or something. Here. I'm sorry. Kate had a lot to say. It's all right. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet she did. Yeah, well, Kate wants us to uh, talk about our feelings more. And there, of course, was. Uh, Tea. Right, so uh, I okay. suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. We heard part of the story from Medusa. She saw Calliope fleeing from the reliquary, bleeding. And when Medusa ran after her, that's when she ran into you. Oh yeah, that, that, that's true. But I, I was also chasing after Calliope. She'd broken in. Why she did? Hecate can't figure out. She didn't touch anything or take anything, but somebody attacked her when she was here. Uh, could it have been? Did no. You chased one. Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back, and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. After I ran into Medusa, Calliope was long gone. Only thing I found was Pan's key. You mean this key, the one Pan gave me? Yeah. Oh God. Well, Calliope must have dropped Pan. it. I sent it back to Pan. How did... Okay, let's ask the older Couldn't question. Couldn't Medusa have been the one who attacked Calliope? I thought maybe, because she was chasing Calliope too. Well, why would she do that? But now I don't know. Medusa never got into the reliquary. I sure never He's so her. adorable. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. If it wasn't Medusa... Who else could have attacked Calliope here? Who had access? It was just me and Kate. I didn't see anyone that night other than Medusa. How did Calliope get inside? Well, she must have snuck in the back way. Where do you think I keep running from? Mm, that's Until true. the alarms went off, though, we didn't even know anyone was here. How do you know nothing was How do you taken? know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes her so mad not to know. And it made Athena pretty mad too. Athena got involved? Yeah, when Kate finally told her. Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. Uh, how did Calliope get How could Pan's Calliope key? have gotten Pan's key? Well, uh, same way you did, I guess. Pan must have given it to her. There's only a few keys to get into the reliquary. Athena doesn't want the idols to come here much. And Pan has one. That's odd. Uh, Sketchy. yeah, so, um, I made it for him a, a, a while back. Different favor. <coughs> so, Athena knows... Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? 
Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know. Why she came mean? in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. Guess she's not as smart as Kate. Uh, did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like, burglar alarms? Cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. Uh, I magic. don't know magic, Quit. actually. Oh, uh, well, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. That's how Kate knows nothing was touched or stolen. We just don't know what did happen yet. I want to be in this friend group. <laughs> what relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you have the Golden Fleece, the Shield of Zeus, the Sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. All I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. Then Medusa's story checks out. She was here, yeah, but she was never in the reliquary. And Pan's name popped up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He sent you here, Grace, to do some favor. Yet he had to know Calliope came here that night. What if... Which he failed to mention for some reason. What if... Mm-hmm. For She's some reason. trying to if that's all you distract need, us from something. Go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. Sending us to these places, you know. You okay there, friendo? God, now I don't know if Athena did it because it feels... Maybe she's in cahoots with Pan? I don't know. I'm just thinking about Calliope. What happened to her here? Whatever she was trying to do, she probably didn't succeed. She ran from here, dying, maybe straight to our apartment. Because you were her last hope. Yeah. What if she hadn't made it? She must have known. One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. I guess so. Next thing is to go to Pan. Confront him. <sighs> What an adventure. Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment. Okay? Okay, stay there. Please don't pop up anymore. <laughs> Pan! I hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? Oh. I really must thank you, <laughs> by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon, and he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. What is it? Hmm. So you used me. All part of your trading favors thing? Of course. I used you, I used Asterion, you used Asterion, Asterion used you. Is this not the way the world works? Why not just tell me what you were after? And risk nosy Hecate somehow digging it out of you. Perish the thought. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. I did. In fact... I have a question. Did you know Calliope was at the reliquary the night she died? You must have, because Asterion returned your key. The one you gave Calliope. The same one you gave me. That started as a question, Grace. But it didn't appear to end as one. Is this all a game to you? Lead Grace through the maze? Or is there something more sinister behind it? The, truth, the second part, I feel. The truth <laughs> is Calliope asked me for the key that night, no questions asked. Why would I refuse her? The truth is also that I have no idea what happened to her there. I wanted you to discover that on your own. Why? I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? No, I don't. If... Give me a reason to believe you, Pan. Ah, you want the ever-elusive proof. 
<laughs> if I had that to offer, do you think I would hesitate to share it? Alas, it is my burden to be forever condemned by my idle brethren. I've become accustomed to it. Truly. Can, I've never lied you to you, Grace. And I never shall. God of mischief. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. And if I can't accept that? If I find out you're somehow involved in this? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. I'll leave then. That's <laughs> you to go, isn't it? If you must. You confuse me. There are always me. alternatives, you know. Oh, don't. Tegilan mo ko. Oh my god. Suggestion. Live the high life. Don't touch me. Throw caution to the wind. That's your suggestion? And why not, unless you truly prefer Persephone forever running hard and cold? Take my hand, Grace. Take my hand. No! I... I... Chose her. <laughs> you gave up on Persephone because you say so? We're gonna make corn. You'd rather she gave up on you first? Do you truly prefer such misery before you, um... Oh, shit. Before I die? You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. I've seen this story many times, Grace. I've told this story many times. And it always ends the same way. What's the point of even getting to know me then? Right? Some CW shit. I don't know. <laughs> ah, at least Asterion and Hecate are happy. Can we just end it there? Asterion? Hate? It seems you've cast a spell on me. You will not regret this. Not yet. It is written. You've cast a spell on me. To think I shall have my own...